Jacarandering sites for Wednesday the 6th of December 2023 and there's all reverse cards today. Three of swords and swords of thoughts and so when we have thoughts and we actually open up a can of worms by perhaps saying the wrong thing or feeling uh, that we have to speak our truth to someone and it stabs people in the heart doesn't it? And that can cause a storm cloud that can rain over them for years. So just know I like that this is in reverse because the swords are going to slip out of your heart and you're going to heal your heart. And we need to do that to be able to move forward. 2024 is an eight year. If you add up 2024, it adds up to an eight. And eight is infinity and also it means infinite possibilities. So we don't need to hang on to old judgments old feelings of dread, fear, hurt and pain. We need to let them, those swords and thoughts slide out and the feelings that are attached. The next reverse card is the High Priestess. Then we can turn the High Priestess around if we do a bit of journaling or punch a punching bag or go for a really brisk walk. However, you use the method to let go of stuff, to get rid of frustration and things that are, you're holding on to and you find that place of instant relief being in the moment usually it's being in the now so just know the high priestess with this aqua outfit on to me the blue of the throat chakra is mixed with the white of the crown and the crown chakra is your angels guides and guardians giving you messages and the blue is speaking your truth so that makes aqua to me also she has the uh, akashic records in her lap that's like a, a book of past lives that you would have, the neighbour would have, um, I would have. Everyone's got like a, a Kashik records in this big library in spirit world. So when the High Priestess comes up, it's virtually saying you can get access to your destiny and your fate by letting go of the stuff that isn't required to be held on to any longer. And if you look at her, she's in between a doorway of sorts. These two pillars here. So the etheric and the spiritual side moving into the material, physical side. She is ready to move into her destiny, into her soul purpose, into her mission. There will be abundance coming from that, which is the pomegranates in the background. Love it. And the moons on her helmet also mean that she's very connected and has been and had that intuition as a teenager. So she might have been the one that said to her friend, no, don't get into the car with him. I can see an accident happening and boom, it does. So you have this innate ability and you quite often squash it and, and all the hurts and the, the stabbing and the uh, life's experiences can make you be not clear it, it can have obstacles you need to clear those clouds clear those storm clouds let go of those uh, harboring thoughts that are useless you are who you are today because of the experiences but you also are not the same person that did those things back then you are way more mature and you've learned your lesson and this last card which is the page of swords says that as well in reverse because the page of swords upright is you not looking at your thoughts. You're looking away from your swords. You're not wanting to face things. You're wanting as a teenager to numb your feelings. So you you know, have alcohol, drugs. You know, uh, you're not wanting to deal with it because you haven't got life's experiences under your belt yet. This is in reverse. Great. It says that you're not a learner, driver or a student at your feelings. You are capable of reeling in and saying, no, I'm not taking what that person said on because that's their stuff. That's, that's not me at all. I am the person that I am now and I'm not, I elect to not be tainted any further by what my boss says, my mum says, my brother says because I'm really comfortable with me now. So that's what you've got to do today because they are all in reverse. So a recap, let go of the thoughts that are holding you back. So then you can turn your high priestess around and become really clear with your destiny. And definitely you're not a learner driver in the thoughts department and feelings department. You are very capable and very skilled. Numbers three, the high priestess is two, that's five. And the page is one, six. Six on the sixth. Funny, isn't it? 
So 60 numerology is a temporary opportunity. So there could be something that comes up today that allows you ha to have that time out and get rid of those old thoughts. Somebody may approach you and have a really good, deep and meaningful so that you then go, oh, well, why am I holding on to that anymore? I'm going to let go of that and just watch my life shine. Have a lovely day, everyone.